I've had a few queries now from readers of TechHead asking me how much power the new HP ProLiance microserver actually draws. So I thought I'd put together this very basic little video to demonstrate during standby and during a uh, boot process how much power the uh, microserver actually draws. As you can see, I've got a very basic power reader here, which is currently measuring in watts, uh, zeroing, uh, drawing zero watts at the moment. So let's plug the power in like so. So as you can see from the display there with the microserver in standby mode it's only drawing between 1 and 1.1 watts of power in total so uh, nice and economical there if you just got it on standby so let's come around to the front now and start the microserver and instantly you can see the power consumption of the microserver jump up anywhere between sort of around the 38 to 45 watt mark uh, obviously as the disk spins up and the operating system um, or in this case it's actually VMware vSphere ESXi uh, loads onto the microserver. As you can see, around about 42 watts in total. Um, to give you a comparison, on an HP ProLiant ML110 or 115, also entry level servers that you may find in your home lab or SMB um, uh, business, uh, at this, this stage of the boot process, they'd be consuming around about sort of 65 to 75 uh, watts of power in total. So instantly you can see there the uh, microserver is uh, obviously a lot more um, uh, less hungry with the power that it draws, uh, which, which is a good thing. To speed things up a little, we're going to fast forward over the ESXi load process now. And there we go, so that's uh, ESXi all loaded now. As you, as you saw from the uh, screen of the power reader there, it, it fluctuated around, you know, once again, between about sort of 36 to 42 watts of power that it was drawing. So uh, not a heck of a lot, really. I'd like to point out, though, that this uh, microserver at the moment doesn't have any VMs running on it. So all you saw there was really the power it consumes, firstly, during standby, secondly, when I actually do the... Uh, uh, the, the the boot up process uh, when it loads the uh, the hypervisor. Obviously, at the moment, uh, you'd expect if you're running VMs on the microserver for it to consume more power because obviously uh, the disk would be much more active, as with the processor and the memory. So I hope you found this uh, this basic and small video of use. And uh, if you've got any queries, you can uh, drop me a comment on this uh, particular blog post. Thanks very much.